So for part six, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of powerful tools that are contained inside of the X8 Edit Suite software. Now, everyone's already familiar from the prior video about the preset selector that you can get to, such as by push, pushing here, that brings up the different banks inside your X8. Here I've got the Naked Amp Tone Packs loaded for these banks, plus some of the classic stuff uh, bonus pack here, and I'm fooling with some other things around here. So that's just uh, right from here. Uh, we're going to go into tools though, and there's two menus that we're going to look at in different videos. This one's going to be on Axe Manage Presets and Axe Manage Cabs. And the reason I wanted to mention this to you is if you pull this one up, it's going to look, it's going to come up basically like sort of the normal preset sort of thing, although it's not going to have the uh, bank bank selectors here and I want you to understand that there are different screens even though a lot of this looks the same as when we did this version right okay so but this one is a tool you can do axe manage presets and it is a way to it's a great tool it's a way that you can rearrange your presets around and also a way that you can load uh, your presets and uh, also you can save them as well uh, without having to use Fractalbot. And for the folks that bought my Naked Amps Tone Pack, they probably followed a separate video I did on how to load them using this. And it's really helpful because loading uh, lots and lots of banks by Fractalbot where you have to do eight presets at a time in the bank is a lot more tedious and painstaking than the Axe FX where you've got a bank of 128 presets. So when you load this, this comes up and again, it's going to show all your presets in one long continuous screen. It doesn't break them out by specific, uh, you can't jump between banks up here like you could in the other one. These are presets that are currently inside your Axe 8. This will show you what's in there. What we want to do is look at some presets that we can import in, such as uh, presets you get from Axe Change or Naked Amps Tone Pack or other presets you might buy, or maybe presets you saved. And the first thing people don't realize is that you have to open up the browser button here. You click this, this menu comes up, and you need to click Show and Hide. And notice how this opens up now over here. And by the way, I'm going to clear this. I was doing this a little earlier. It should come up and it should be blank like this when you do it, okay? So you click Show Hide and it comes up and it's blank. And um, you can, you know, move this if you need to. So this is stuff that's in your Axe 8, but this is stuff that's on your computer, a different source. It's not in your Axe 8. And what you can do is you can, again, uh, show and hide the browser is this thing. So if you don't see this, make sure you click the Show Hide. Then you can open up directories, and when you do, it's going to ask you some questions. What directory do you want to open up? And we'll look at the presets. Do you want to include subfolders when scanning it? Maybe you've got a lot of presets and a lot of subdirectories as well. Do you want bank files? So I usually leave those two checked. I'm going to choose the folder here, and I've already opened this up to my bonus classic rock and blues tone pack. And you can see these are the Axe 8 presets for it. This is a collection of eight presets, another collection of eight, another collection of eight. So there's 40 uh, some odd presets there. So notice they're grayed out. You can't click on them, but that's by design. If you click this open button, once you've identified it, it's going to count and figure out how many presets there are by scanning. Okay, and once that's done, you click OK and boom, it will populate them over here in your browser window, which is great. Okay, so there they are. Now, let's say these are presets that I haven't heard and I want to listen to them and check them out. Well, that's where Auto Edition comes in. This little question mark will show you here. Auto Edition is a help, whereas if you double click a preset once this is on, it will actually load it into the buffer memory of your Axe 8. It's not saving it to your unit, mind you. It's just loading it so you can listen to it and audition it. We're going to talk about how to use this auto edition here. I've got a guitar now. Um, and the first thing is uh, you have to click the auto edition on so it's grayed out. There you go. So now it's actually active. Now when I double click a preset here, you'll see this underline coming up underneath it. 
and then it'll actually select that preset. <laughs> So that's how you can audition presets. Now, you can also use the up and down buttons to go from preset to preset. So. So let's say we've got this no brown M and M's um, Les Paul uh, preset, and we really like that when we've decided. There's a couple things you can do. The first thing is is that you can go into this menu that I've talked about, and you can now say, you know what, that's one of my favorites. I like that one of all these that I'm listening to. So I click that, and notice a little star comes up here. So that's very cool because you could go through a list of them and. Pick out what your favorites are. Let's say you also like the um, this Gilmore one. Um, so you click it as a favorites, mark it as a favorites. Then what you can also do is you can filter so that it will only show your favorites uh, for later. You know, so you can un and you can of course unfilter it and it'll go back. Now remember, this is not on your Axe Eight. This is your computer file memory. So let's say you really like this. Now, how do I get these presets into my Axe 8 permanently? That's where you can grab this and you can click and you can drag it and it will write it. Now, where you drag the slot from here to here. Now notice this is in red and there's a little dot there. So it is actually not saved yet. You have to click this save button and watch that little dot by it. Yes, I wanna save the change. Once it saves it, that little dot will disappear and it's fine now. But that's how you sort of know when something's been uh, changed but not saved yet. So again, in this browser, um, you've got the bank that we opened before. You can open the bank. You can also save this bank of all these presets in this browser, which is great um, as well. You can also show what it looks like in the actual folder. You can pull it up. And, you know, I'm on a Mac and you can kind of see that's what it looks like in an actual folder itself rather than the browser window if you need to do that. So that's what that menu item does. Uh, we talked about the favorites. You can mark it, unmark it. You can toggle between them. You can clear all the favorites, which I'm going to do right now. So that's a very cool little feature. You can select all these presets. Let's say you love them all and you say, you know what? I love them all. I want to load them into my Axe 8. These are the Austin Buddy presets. Well, you can do that. And then you can drag them over here, and it will actually sort of write them over. Notice how it did that. Boom, boom, boom. The presets that were there. So that's pretty cool. It's an easy way to get a lot of presets moved over to your Axe 8 quickly. You still have to click Save, and it will start going through these. I'm not going to do it because I have some in there that I like. So this is a really great feature of this browser. Um, you can also clear the entire browser and open up a different bank of directory that you want to look at. So that's how you do that. You use this clear all entries. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and load those up again. See how I did that. And let's say maybe I want to move just a couple of these. So I can click on the first one and the 10th one while I'm holding down my shift key and it will just pick those, okay? So in theory, I can move those just in, just like that, and drop them and they will be there and then I can click the save and it will save them. Also, I can just clear all selected entries so it'll just take those 10 away from what I had right there, which is also kind of cool if you're trying to winnow out a bunch of different ones. Um, that's a way to just pull them out of the list if you want to do that. Um, unfortunately, Control-Z doesn't return you back, so. This full feature is you can sort them either alphabetically by name or in order added. For example, my tone packs, they're in a specific order. Um, if they look jumbled, something like this, you can just come here and say, look, I want them in the order they came in and it'll come in exactly the way I had saved them in, in the presets. So that's a nice sort of feature that they've had here. So you can sort the order of them. And again, we can turn on this auto audition here and then you can sort of hear them as you go, like I did earlier. So this is an old blues amp. So 
So that's how the browser window works. But you don't have to work in the browser window or with Auto Audition to use Preset Manager. And I use this all the time to arrange the presets the way I want. Here's a couple of things to know. So let's say that I want to organize this little section here and make them a little closer. So I can grab a preset and move it, and it will move it, but what it's actually doing is it is swapping 8.2 and 8.3. Notice how both of them are now red with a little dot by them, okay? So when you grab a preset and you drag it over another preset, whether it's empty or not, it swaps those. So it doesn't delete the one you went over. It will just swap the uh, order of them, okay? So that's a really useful thing to know. Um, you know, and you can do that with groups as well. So let's say I grab these two and I move those two down there and they will swap them. All right, so this is a good way for you if you wanna organize your presets, you can literally just drag and drop them in kind of the orders that you want as you go. You know, I want this and this, and you know what? Uh, I've got my twin here and I've got my bandmaster there. Oh, you know what? I actually think I want, um, my twin to be my second one. And then I can move that there, and then I can move this around, et cetera, et cetera. Now, another way to work with these presets, and again, I have these are not saved yet in the Axe 8. They're uh, in Axe 8 Edit, and they're ready to be saved if I hit this Save button, which I'm going to do right now. They will then be committed to memory, and it'll, always, it'll give you this dialog box. And watch as it saves each one, as I said earlier, it's going to change that that little dot means it's not saved but once that's a uh, disappears it means it saved it so it will go through them and it takes a little while it does it one by one to make sure it's done correctly so maybe there's some other ways you can work in this overall space here for presets well one way is click on a uh, preset and then click the right click button and a menu comes up what do you want to do with this preset do you want to cut it all together out of the spot do you want to sleeve it there but make a copy of it and drag it and put it somewhere else? You can do that. Do you want to just get rid of it and clear it all together? Maybe you want to just rename it from this uh, window. Maybe you want to import it uh, from, a, from your computer. You want to go in and grab it for this method and do it. You can do that, of course, from the other main menu of Axe 8 Edit and, or export it as well. Or you want to load it. You want to select a couple of them. Or maybe you want to revert backwards. So there's a whole of different examples here. So, for example, let's go, let's go to my bandmaster and let's clear it. There it is. It's now, when I save it now, that preset's gone. Let's uh, see if I can uh, uh, rename this one. I'm going to call it my cool Tremolux instead. Right? So I have to retype the name and click enter. And there it is. Now, again, it's got these red dots, so it's not saved yet. But once you hit the save, it will be in your Axe 8's memory. Maybe you want to um, cut this one, this Vibrolux one, and we want to move it to this spot. And now I just come in and I paste it. And again, a lot of your classic sort of Command X, Command C, Command Z, uh, V, excuse me, controls will work here. So, you know, Command X will cut, and I'm going to do this now not with my right click, but with the command. So, Command X, uh, I cut it, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do Command Z to paste it, and now, or V, not Z, excuse me. And now I'm going to do Command C to copy it, and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it there. So, Really easy, simple, but this is a great way to manage presets, particularly when you have a lot of them, you want to organize them, you know, clean, dirty rhythms, different things like that. It works really, really great for that. Um, and again, if you want to import it, it would end up bringing up a place where, where are your presets? And I'd have to probably go into a, uh, you know, here's a nice Doyle Bramhall preset. And now my Doyle Bramhall preset, interestingly enough, has a cab attached to it. So this is a good example. So it's saying, hey, that's not just a preset, that's got a, fa a user cab. So this one's ignoring it. You can't do that from here, but you can come out here and you can do the import cab bundle from this menu like we've talked about before. I want to 
import the preset and it's this one. And it's going to try and do it in this preset that I'm in. See, it's there. But notice in my cabinet now, it's got S01 for scratch pad. So it's not saved it yet. And when I try and get out of this preset to save it, it's going to ask me where in my user cabs do you want me to save this because it, it's a preset bundle. Now that's going to be for a next video. Um, we'll talk about that. So anyway, let's go back. You can... Um, move things around, you can cut the whole area and you can paste it. Notice it's gonna take time because it's going through each one of these things um, to save them. So there'll be eight times it does that. And then I could move it over here and paste it. Um, what some people discover is they try and drag it and that won't always work. And I'll show you that in a minute. Be okay, so I've cut it. And now I'm just going to paste it back where it was just for, for Greg's. But let's say that I now want to take all these and I want to actually do something like this. Often it will say you can't do that because you are overlapping over some of the other blue ones that you've got here. In other words, you can't move a blue onto a blue. Um, you've got to do it in an area that is totally away from the blue for it to actually go over there but you can't like move all these down three because you're overlapping some of these if that makes sense so i hope that's helpful to you in understanding a little bit about this really wonderful function that really helps you keep your presets organized <laughs>